Wow. That. Very nice to have you with us. That, my friend, is a real bit. That's a man's beard right there. That is a very nice beard. Can we see my beard one more time and let's try and see who's got the, look at that. Look at that. Your beard is beating the crap out of my beard. But this, this took six months. Six months. Oh, okay. I wouldn't have that in six years. But we can leave that to another time. This is nice. This is your hometown, of course. This yep. is, uh, you're from, is it Astoria? I'm from Queens, yeah, Astoria. You're from Queens. Yeah, this is very nice. You, uh, your family, they owned a bakery there, is that right? Yes, in Astoria on Broadway. And, uh, <laughs> it was there for about 60 years and uh -huh. my father retired. It's, right. it's gone now. And what, did you ever help out at the, at the bakery? I did when I was a kid. I worked in the back. Uh-huh. I, you know, did all sorts of things. <laughs> <laughs> Only you could make working in a bakery sound so sordid somehow. <laughs> so yeah. mysterious I and evil. I delivered cakes. I, you know, I did kind of uh, uh, cleaning up types of stuff. Did you make, uh, what, did you make pastries, donuts? Did you make... Uh... I, I had to do something. I had little chores. I, I had to fill the jelly donuts. I, I used to fill the jelly donuts. I'm sure... <laughs> I'm sure they have, a, 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 you know, high-tech ways of doing it now, but in those days, it was very basic. Uh-huh. You had a, a huge uh, can of jelly. Right. And it had, like, a hypodermic on top of it with two needles. Right. And you'd take a donut in each hand, you'd stick it on there, and then you'd push it down like a dynamite thing. You know? Right. And the jelly would go into the donut, and it was very exciting. <laughs> Yeah, you make it sound almost, yeah, like a, a oh. yeah, sensual. Uh, now, uh, <laughs> now uh, I also, if we're going to talk about your past, your real name, if you don't mind me saying, was what? Ronald. Ronald. <laughs> and I changed it. I was in a nightclub act about 30 years ago. and mm -hmm. uh, Where you filled jelly donuts on stage, <laughs> yeah. I danced in a nightclub act, and, and uh, the... Uh, lady who was the, the, the star of the show said, I think I'll call you Christopher. So I did. I, I just... <laughs> just because someone arbitrarily out of nowhere said, I'm calling you Christopher. It's true. They said, I, Ronald, it's hard to say or something, so I'll right. call you Christopher. Right. So that was it. <laughs> okay. That's an interesting idea. They just, that, that person had a big influence on your life and probably... Are they aware? Is that person aware that they created the name Christopher Walken? Sure. <laughs> and... and, and uh, yeah, it was very quick. It was like that. Just like that. <laughs> but I wish it had been Chris. Chris walking. It's, it's nicer, it's shorter. Christopher always looks like a train, you know. Just like... <laughs> well, you're in charge here. You could say, yeah. from now on in the next movie, I am Chris walking. You know, I asked to do that a number of times, and they said, nope. You know, I guess they pay for all those letters. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> That's it. That's it. You should change it to, at this point, just go, like, for Blaze Walk-Ins or something really cool. Or, or Caesar Augustus. <laughs> <laughs> something. Wow, delusions of grandeur are seeking in. <laughs> now, the last time you were on the show, I remember this very clearly. You said, I remember this very well, you said, I'd love to someday have a cooking show. And I remember thinking, you've accomplished so much, it just seems strange to me that you would, you'd want to go do a cooking show. But I thought, well, I'd watch Christopher Walken cooking show. What happened to that idea? Well, I, I love cooking shows. I love to watch them. And uh, there's so many different kinds. And in fact, since then, I did one. I did a, a show for Bravo that was on. It was a half hour thing. It was, it was nice. <laughs> but I'd like to, I would like to do a cooking show or, or really some sort of spontaneous show. When I was a kid, I used to watch the Dean Martin uh, show. Mm -hmm. And you always got the feeling that he walked in and it just happened. And of course, that's, that's not true. It was probably very well planned. But I, right. I, always, I always liked that idea that the guy walks in and who knows what's going to happen. We got that here, baby. Sure. I mean, nothing. We don't, we but, don't rehearse this thing. No. This is just... This is just anything. 
I come out here, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. I, whoa, look at that. I don't know what's going to happen. But that, that is what's interesting about this kind of uh, venue. It's like right. watching sports. You know, you're not really sure what's going to happen. Right, right. Well, it's, well, and would you do a kind of show like that? Would you ever do like a, a crazy adventure show, a show sure. where you do stunts? Would you do that? I have an idea to do one for one of these new rocket roller coasters, you know, to go on one. I went on one and uh, it was really scary. <laughs> so you want a show where you just ride around on a roller coaster? <laughs> Do a different one every week. You oh, know, a maybe different roller coaster each week. Fly fishing, something like that. Right, right, right. <laughs> okay, right now, a lot of it, your phone's going to be ringing off the hook. <laughs> now, uh, we have to talk about the Fat Boy Slim video, which is everybody's favorite video this year. Such a great video. Such a great, such a great concept. So well executed. I mean, you're really, you're dancing up a storm in, in this video. It's great to have the opportunity to do that, you know, at my advanced age, to be able to do that. And they don't make musical movies so much anymore, so the idea of being able to do that was great. I've, I did a couple of musical movies, uh, and uh, I guess Spike Jones must have seen one of them. And, uh, and he had the idea, and he approached you. Yes. Did you know Fat Boy Slim? Nope, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I should have, but... My, my uh, music knowledge stops uh, somewhere in the 70s, I think. Right, right. So, so you weren't, but, but you, you, when you saw the finished product, you must have been delighted. Yeah, it was terrific. W let's just take a quick, we'll look at a clip from this, uh, from this video. so many times. I really, uh... Are those, are those hard moves to learn? I would love to learn some of those moves. Can you show me anything from that? Uh, can you just, like, just a little something? So, yeah, I'll show you. No, show me. Ma Max, you need to... Show me, show me a little something. I'd, I'd love to do this. My favorite, that is my favorite dance move of all time, that one right there. I live in the country, and that's what the raccoons do at night. <laughs> <laughs> Only you would look at a raccoon and say, that's a dance move right there. Uh, America's Sweethearts is in theaters now, and The Seagull opens August 12th at the Delacorte Theater. Yes. And people should uh, go and see that. It's always a thrill when you're on. Thanks, Thank you so much. Christopher Walken.